Good day everyone, I am DC. One is the loneliest number that you left. Good day everyone, I'm Pete. Two can be as bad as one. And we are the teachers for our arithmetic sequence. But before we start discussing, let me ask you one more thing. What is an arithmetic sequence? So imagine climbing stairs, step by step. Each one is the same distance apart. Now, that's exactly how arithmetic sequence works. Numbers that grow or shrink by the same amount each time. Or, in other words, arithmetic sequence is a series of number when it's different between conceptary terms in constant. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. So let's start solving an arithmetic sequence with an example of a word problem. So, the given here, Matthew saves up 50 pesos in the first week. He then earns 100 pesos in the second week, making a total of his savings so far, 150 pesos. If you continue this pattern in the next following weeks, how much would it have earned by the seventh week? Since we already have the formula for finding the nth term, we do not need to compute each term manually. Instead, we can directly substitute the known values into the general formula. So substituting these values into the formula would be a sub 7 is equal to 50 plus the quantity of 7 minus 1 times 100. We must never forget the formula. Now, Applying the order of operations or PEMDAS, we must first solve the number inside the parentheses. Now, next thing we are going to solve is 6 times 100. We must now multiply. And now, lastly, we must now add 50, which is the value for the first term, and 600. Therefore, the value for the 7th term, or a sub 7, is 650. This means that by the 7th week, Matthew's total savings are amount to 650 pesos. Good day. My name is Brian Troy R. Lloren. And my name is Charlize Margo S. Quezon. And we will be, and teaching, we will be teaching you about, you about geometric, geometric sequence. sequence. But wait, what is geometric sequence? Well, a geometric sequence is a list of numbers where each term is found by multiplying the previous one by the same number. So in this problem, a magician has a magic coin. On the first day, the coin turned into six coins. Every day, the number of coins doubled. If there were 12 coins on the second day, how many coins will the magician have on the seventh day? Me. Let's see, what are you doing? Oh, I'm guessing if he loves me or not. We're supposed to learn here. Like the sequence, the, the Fibonacci. Fibonacci. The Fibonacci sequence is a sequence where these two is added to get the next term. For example, we have one and one. So we have to add these two to get them. So one plus one is two. You have to repeat the same process to get the next term again. So, for the word problem, Bibi bought a candy word 1 peso on her first visit at Ma Elena's candy store. And on the other day, she brought another candy word 2 pesos using the Fibonacci sequence. How much is the word the candy should buy on her 8th visit? So, we're gonna start with 0. So, we're gonna add, as Phoebe mentioned earlier, we're just gonna add the 2 previous terms. So, 0 plus 1 equals 1, right? And so on. about what comes up to 13. Now, where is Mark? Can I ask Mark? I'm here. 
So the next term will be 21. How did I get 21? First, I added the 13 to the previous term, which is 8. 8 plus 13 is equal to 21. 